Okay, good afternoon there. As you can see, we have the motor partially apart on Project Master Blaster. Uh, the issue I've been having and continue to have is it dies sometimes during a derby and it has a slight hesitation and a pop through the carburetor. So I wanted to make sure that the engine wasn't dropped the cylinder or something. Uh, what I have found out, I, when I did the timing, I just said the timing. I didn't, you know, run it up and down and check it very good. Well, the issue I'm having now that I found, and I've already gone through the distributor to make sure it wasn't came apart, is the timing is jumping 30 degrees. You can sit here at idle. You can't see a timing tape right now. The timing tape, it's around the other side. But anyways, at idle, just sitting there, it'll just jump up to 30 every once in a while, 30 degrees advance. And then even when you slowly rev it, and it should... Timing marks, the timing marks just move nice and smooth. It does nothing, it does nothing, and then it goes full advance. So it's kind of telling me that there's an issue where the advance is kind of flopping around. Uh, we're suspecting everybody's opinion is more likely the timing chain inside there is probably bad, I think, because it was real loud when I was running it. I almost sound like I heard maybe it slapping the side of the cover, but I don't know. We won't know until tomorrow. But what I'm doing here now, just to rule out everything, and I promised I would show you this, we're doing the uh, leak down test. This is going to be your pressure, reads up to 100, degree, 100 pounds. It's going to equal whatever your compressor is set at. Mine's going to maybe hit anywhere 90, 100 pounds right now. Then on here, it has percentages 100, 80, 60, all the way around to 20. About there is 10. You know, Real good mark is hitting the white, but they say that's nearly impossible. But basically, that's why I got the top end up part. What I'm doing here is this so I can watch the valves go up and, up and down. When the exhaust valve opens and closes, that's on, opens up, it's going to be on the exhaust stroke. And then when the intake valve opens and then closes, it's going to be coming up with the compression strokes. So then I stick a screwdriver right now, I got the tool in there, but I stick a screwdriver in there as I'm slowly turning the crank over by hand. And when I feel it come up to the top dead top of the cylinder and start to go down, I back it up to where it's just right at the top to test this to make sure valves, uh, cylinder rings, everything's not leaking. And I know everybody says I got the compression tester tier two somewhere. Part of it. I did a compression test too. Oh there it is. I did the compression test too. And the compression's fine. I have a little issue here I'm working on right now. We're just figuring it out and I went and read an article by Carcraft and it's a good carcraft.com and hotrod.com are a real good source of uh, tech articles uh, they spend a ton of money on cars that aren't there and a ton of money isn't theirs either so most of their stuff you can trust they're not going to give you a bunch of bull crap but anyways I'll show you how this works I already got the cylinder up on top dead center about both valves are closed the hose is screwed in there just like a compression tester it's different though, it has no one-way check valve to stop the uh, air leaking out. This air can go in and out because it needs to go back up this hose. And I got my air compressor up to it. Got this valve turned, the regulator turned all the way out. So now we'll just turn it all the way in until we get max pressure. There we go, 95 pounds. And we can read it. Right now it's changed again. It's at about 15, which is somewhat acceptable something they told me to do when you have this issue and I'll show you right now. Now if you can hear it, but you're going to hear some of the uh, air escaping past the rings and coming out of the crankcase. The other area it's kind of coming out. Now that it's at 15, you crawl and listen to your exhaust. And I do have a bit past the exhaust. They said uh, in car craft, not to worry until you get up to about 30, 30% loss. Something they said to try if it's doing this where it's going back and forth. Let's all watch the gauge while I wrap the wrap the valve. Let's see if I can see if I can lower it. it. Looks like it's not going down. Well anyways, they said if it doesn't go past 30, which would be over here, you're usually fine. You don't have to worry about do the valve job yet. There you go. One simple way of testing out your engine. 
Uh, so you got a bad intake valve, listen through the carburetor. Uh, bad head gasket, you would uh, take your radiator cap off and look for bubbles, or if you got an engine apart, you can use this. That's the good thing about these, you can use these on an engine that has been running a while. You might want to oil up the cylinders so it's a little more accurate. But if it had nothing in it, you could take a you know, water and you could listen through the neck there to see if there's a bad head gasket. Stuff like that, or you can, you know, check around here. You can even stick a little bit of water in if you think you have a, a, a um, coolant leak or block leak. Fill the thing up with water where you normally would, and see if water bubbles out somewhere. But there you go. Thought you enjoy seeing what's going on here. Uh, I'm pretty 99% sure that we got a bad timing chain, so I'll let you know how that goes. See you.